Okay, good morning everybody. We are sitting in the truck. It's early, of course. Just uh, finishing up my cup of coffee and uh, mapping out the game plan today. I don't know what's gonna happen today. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I've got a few interesting baits tied on today. One of which I'm very excited to throw. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work, but uh, I think it should work. Yeah, should be a fun day of fishing. Pretty dang early, like I said, so we're gonna take our time, load up, get out on the water, try to beat that sunrise, and then we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, here's what we're gonna smash them on today. The rattlesnake. That thing looks so crazy good in the water. <gasps> oh my God. Get your freaking double digit on this today. What, that thing, that, that looks too realistic. You know when a bass sees this, he's gonna think it's like too good to be true. It's like, really? One of these little ba baby rattlesnakes actually is in the water right now? This thing is gonna get munched. Now this looks like where a snake would be swimming around. Looks like the right habitat. Oh my god, the snake! Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that was insanity. old rattler. It's a good fish too. Well, we knew this had to get crushed. It just looked too good in the water. Well, how's about that for the first uh, rattlesnake fish ever? All jammed up in my net. Wow, that thing crushed it. Man, the action on the snake is just too enticing. <sighs> that was freaking awesome. <laughs> And a jump, thank you, sir. I don't know if it's the bait or what, but that thing just ugh, crushed this bait. Never seen a bait with this kind of action before. It's got such a tight quiver. We are in California. It's early summer. So those baby rattlesnakes are starting to roam around and uh, I don't know, I've never personally seen a rattlesnake in the water, but I know that they're around. I've seen them on land, which is not the most uh, comforting feeling, but uh, I don't know. You'd imagine that at some point or another, these bass eat these rattlesnakes if they get in the water, especially the baby ones. That was a bass right there. That was definitely a bass. I think we'll get one shot at that fish right there. We gotta make the right cast. Get one shot at him. That'd be the cast. Oh, you know what? Maybe that wasn't as big as I thought it was. Seemed like a really little one. Oh, God! Maybe it wasn't that little. I think he just grabbed the tail. This stuff looks good. This looks like the kind of stuff a little baby rattlesnake would slither out of. All these flooded bushes, and there's not many flooded bushes to be honest because the water's dropped so much. The ones that are, that are still underwater, I think are gonna be key for the, the rattlesnake eaters. Heck 
is that? Pretty sure I see a massive bait ball coming right at me. Oh, that's a huge bait ball. Holy crap. How are the birds not all over that thing? Look, there's so many bait balls here. Right there, look. See right there. Hopefully you can see that. It kind of looks like it's raining right there. Like little tiny droplets. It's all bait. There we go. Yeah, there's tons of fish here. They're just not hitting them on top. Old well, flicker shed's a good way to catch them. This fish isn't huge, I don't think, but he's fighting pretty good. Large mouth. Fat dude. Stubby. So flicker shad has proved to be one of my favorite uh, favorite baits when they're chasing shad. Oh, the action, it suspends a little, dives a little deeper. Hmm. What's funny is like, it kind of just died off. Oh, never mind. I was saying it died off, but there's another fish. Like, I'm not seeing as many bait balls now. Still fish in the area, of course. Oh boy, that's a skinny one. Skinny fella. Poor guy could have used this meal, probably. Like I was saying, there's kind of seems like it died off. Definitely not as many blow-ups. See, that's what they're eating right there, I'll show you. Right here. And here's the flicker shed. Well, I think the flicker shed does so well here. I mean, look at that. Pretty good match the hatch and you can see why like when they're keying in on these little guys right here why they wouldn't come up and hit a big snake lure out here or something they just get so focused on that that size I'll keep running this for a little while but I want to get back to my shallow snake deal because I think that's where we'll catch a bigger one back to mr. snake it's a fun little distraction for a second just catching those shad eaters but back to uh back to the task at hand some snake fish oh my god that was a big in Still on. Can't tell. Gone. Oh my god. Come on, dude. It's a big small mouth. Oh my god. Thing choked the snake on the fall what the heck can't believe we actually landed that fish i'll tell you what we upgraded our hooks for a couple of reasons one we upgraded them so they don't bend on us the only bad thing about this bait i've used it once but the hooks bent out so we changed the hooks so they didn't bend out and they're sticky sharp well <laughs> he just came undone like that kept him pinned that was the key right there Old rattlesnake catching smallmouth in three foot of water. A nice smallmouth too. A couple of decent fish on the snake. <laughs> you want to eat a rattlesnake, dude? This kind of looks like a rattlesnake habitat right here. Look at all those rocks. <laughs> Alrighty. That's cool. 
Yeah, right when that hit the water. I mean, I knew I'd be fishing this in some thick stuff, so that's why we got it on the 50 pound braid and those big stout hooks that we changed. I think these are four rots, the mustads. I don't know, I'll link them in the description, but these upgraded hooks are sticky sharp and they don't bend out because you need to get these fish out of this cover. You can't really play them. I think when we do fish this snake though today, I've learned that it's got to be around the cover and it's got to be pretty close to the bank, pretty shallow. It just, you know, gives it its most natural presentation where something like this would be. You know, when I throw it out there in deeper water or open water, that doesn't really look natural. I don't know if the fish get conditioned to seeing certain baits at certain, you know, depths or locations, but I don't think that, you know, to me, throwing this out in the middle, even if there is, you know, cover or trees out there, just doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I think for this bait today, we're just going to commit to it shallow and around cover. Let's get a bite. Let's just get a bite. Got one. Oh my lordy, that is a dinker. Yeah, we'll take you, sir. We'll take you. Yeah, it's peeing. Alrighty, got another bite on the trusty Senko. Just not really in an area where I'm comfortable throwing that snake at the moment. We'll go back to it, but just kind of feeling the Senko right now. I say in the past, that's one thing I definitely did not like about like challenge videos. It was kind of being forced to fish one bait or one thing all day when you'd want to throw other stuff. So that's why I really don't do challenge videos anymore. Just because I like to fish what I like, if that makes sense. Ooh, I think that's something feeding over there. Fish. There's cast. Yeah, there was something. Oh, it came off. Shoot. Got it again. <laughs> that fish is hungry. I got a little weight to it. All right, all right. Thank you, sir. Oh. Seeing some stuff get crushed every so often. It's super random, you know? Flicker shed. Definitely hard to beat this bait here. <laughs> Not a big one, but... Oh. Man. I guess the snake catches the little ones, too. Right under that tree. Maybe he was waiting for a little snake to fall down. Man, he could have used the snake meal, too. Poor fella. He could use a good meal. Sorry, dude.
Ooh, that's a good one, I think. I think that's a good one. Uh, it's a long one. Hey, spider. Maybe a little pocket of them back here. Oh, got in the spot. All right, man, it felt a lot bigger. Maybe there's more where that came from. guys making our way back through some of the areas we already fished it's definitely warmed up i'm hoping that it pushed some of this bait up and maybe some of these bass up shallow with the bait i mean there are bass shallow but these areas before that we came through they they weren't really here so see if anything changed there we go maybe the oh good sign good sign good sign okay Old sink here. Oh yeah, this fish. Out of there. Wow, that's funny. I went through here with the Senko earlier. They were not here. I really do think this is an afternoon spot. Like they moved in. Especially smallmouth. That's a smallmouth. Wow. Our bait chasers. Pretty smallmouth. Man, you gotta love the colors on these smallmouth. I mean, they're all a little different. Like, compared to the smallmouth we caught earlier, I mean, look how much different in coloration that one is. So pretty. There we go. Just letting that thing fall. Oh! Saw him. That was big fish of the day. Popped right off. Dang it. To punch Senko and the flicker shed. Man, look at how long that one is. That's a long smallmouth, fellas. Got her. Man, look how long that smallmouth is. Alrighty. Thank you. It's interesting. Yeah, jinxed myself. Thought I was gonna be loaded. As soon as I was all sure about it, stopped getting bit. Oh, never mind. There we go. <laughs> and as soon as I said that we jinxed ourselves, we catch one. This has been a very productive bait for me today, though. Hopefully, you got some buddies. I don't know, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's video of fishing a baby rattlesnake around all this crazy cover. I mean, we only caught, I think, three on it, but uh, caught a few other fish on the flicker shed and the Senko. But man, I'll tell you what, that baby rattlesnake was fun to fish. I knew it should catch him. I mean, it has a crazy action. Like I've said, I've used it before. I've never seen an action on a bait like that in my life, and uh, they definitely wanted it. I think it, it's a very specific bait, at least today. I had to throw that up shallow around the cover. A lot of these fish that were hitting it were hitting it pretty quick, so it's almost as if they were ready for something to fall or for something to ambush. So, yeah, fun bite for sure. I will definitely keep this bait in the arsenal. Like I said, I did change out the hooks and they held up. They didn't flex out on me, and they're a little bit more stout so that I could, in this big, heavy cover, wrench them out if I needed to with that 50 pound braid. But, uh, yeah, that is the video for today. Thank you guys for coming along. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.